Hey there, it's me, Katie Beth again, and today I'm going to show you, oh, excuse me, and today I'm going to show you these uh, Lego figurines I've been getting every day. Um, I've been getting them in small batches when I leave Target, and I've been going to Target just to get them the last few days, but today I bought 11 of them, which turned out, with my Target card, still be $45, so um, it's uh, not the cheapest hobby, but uh, I'm going to open some of these and show you oh um and john today i did do the like feeling trying to feel out what some of them were because i need a few of them left and i do feel like i felt cedric diggory um his his trophy that sounded weird and um i think i also found lord, lord voldemort too let me see which ones those were Oh, dang it. Now I'm thinking that I felt wands and not a snake. Also sounded kind of weird. Uh, this one feels like Mad-Eye. I'm going to open this one. And I've been using this little uh, paper opener or letter opener. Okay, it's not Mad Eye. I thought I felt his staff, but uh. It's one I already have. I guess it's okay. It's um. Mm, can't remember his name. Malfoy? Yeah, it's him and his little. And his little Quidditch outfit. I'll put it together real quick. Oh, dang it. I gotta go to work. Um, I'll open some more up on my break. Okay, so I'm going to open these using my uh, box cutting knife. Okay. And let's see, who do we have in here? Yes! It's one that I uh, really was looking forward to getting. Um, it's Hermione. Look at her little cat. So cute. Let's take her head on there. Snap your hair on. A cute little cat. It, the cat's not really fitting. Yeah, the cat doesn't seem to fit on there very well. Like, Legos generally just snap right on. It's not really snapping on. Let's see what it looks like in the pamphlet. And, uh, it's just one of those stand-on-the-side ones in the pamphlet. Let's try and stick it on... Meh, we'll put her on. Put the little kitty next to her. Okay, uh, actually maybe it'll stay on there better. Maybe it just needs her on there. Okay, let's open up this next one. We got a little ginger head. Yes, it's one from the new movies, the newer movies. It's the red-headed lady. <laughs> Need to put her face on first. Okay, snapped her little hair on. She's so cute. I love it. Oh, and she's got some rolls. Stick her on there. Stick her buns on. <laughs> Why won't it fit? Just stick on there. Oh, it just has to be on one. She needs to move over, so she has, oh, so she has room. Oh, cute. I can just put it on at a little angle. Let's get her wand out.
Turn her one, turn her one. She looks so cute. I love her. Okay, next. Let's see what we get next. Oh, I think I have this one already. Yep. Yep, I opened one of these in my car already. It's, um, I forgot his name. The actor that was really der derpy looking when he was younger, but then became hot by the last movie. The one that's really into plants. Little headphones. Little creepy mandrake. <laughs> And there's not really a sticky thing inside the pot, but the pot can just stick on there. Put his hand out. I think I'm going to put the mandrake in his hand and he'll just be like pulling it out of the pot. Let's figure this out. He came off of his floorboard. Let's stick the wand on him first. He's so cool. He's a really cool one. Really cool design. He's really funny. Little mandrake out of his flower pot. Okay, who do we have here? Open it up. Cut it up, and oh, oh, it's the same lady again. I do love her, though. She's a really great character. Just put her together really quickly, since we already have another one of her. Got your hair on, snap it on. We'll put your buns on the other side. Since I already used her, I'm just going to open a, take off her wand from the other one. Oh, your hair. Hair's spinning around. You're real cute, little lady. Rip it open, rip it open. And did we have... Oh, it's so cute. It's the one with the, um, with the little tuxedo on. I don't know this guy's name at all. I'm not entirely sure which movie he's from. I'm guessing one of the newer ones, but I'm not sure. I could be wrong. What movie is this guy from? Let me build him first before asking that. So he's put on his little tails for his suit fit on there. This is kind of cute with the Lego clothes that it it makes the clothes it just they don't snap on but they go around the little snaps the little bumps. I don't know what that's called but it's really cute. Great engineering. Great designing Lego people. This is actually not the easiest. I'm probably making it way harder than it needs to be. Uh, yeah. Stick that in there. Snap on, and that just snaps right on, and then he has his little tails in the back. Super cute, man. Put his head on. Snap! Oh, that snapping sound. Snap off! Nope, oh, gotta put his bow tie on first. <laughs> and his hair. Is he the little guy from Gringotts or the bank? No, I don't know. I don't know why he has this megaphone. I never know which way to put their hands on. But I feel like the way hands go, the thumbs are on the top and the pinkies are on the bottom, so I have to move their hands around all the time. 
So he's yelling through his megaphone. Very Hollywood producer-y. Gotta get your wand out, little dude. I think he is actually shorter than all the other characters. We'll have to line him up and see later. You can almost look through it. Oh, oh, oh. oh sorry, little dude. They're almost like surfboards, these little plates that they're on. Okay, who do we have here? Oh, I needed this one, too. Um, it's, a uh, I don't know his name either, but he's, uh, a Gryffindor, and he's super into, like, the sporting event stuff. I think he's the one on the microphone, always narrating the game. I don't know his name, though, but he's pretty cool. Snip, snap. Snapping on his flag. Some of these little Lego people have some pretty cool accessories with them. Turning his hands to be the way that I feel like hand should properly go. Giving him his wand. Snap him. Snap in there. And he's just happy waving around his flag and his wand. School spirit all the way. Let's put him on his little plate. And look at him being awesome. I got the last two left. Yay! That's the one that I was pretty sure I felt in the store. Cedric and his trophy. His name is Cedric, right? I'm not just making that up. From my memory, it was. The same actor that played in Twilight. Horrible in Twilight, but great in Harry Potter. Stick his trophy on there. Let's hope his trophy fits on better than Hermione's cat did. It's cute. Like, again, some of these guys have really cool accessories with them. Although, that's kind of his murder weapon, isn't it? The Triwizarding Cup. Am I wrong? I haven't seen these movies in a while. I'm gonna need to have a marathon. Let's open up this last one. Who do we have here? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. He is the one that I wanted to... I also am not remembering his name right now, but he's the main character from the new movies. This little suitcase together. Another freaking cool accessory. Snap his face on. It's not one of the ones with a different face on the back. Some of them had the different faces on the back, and I also think that's really cool. So you can switch their personalities. And they can't get his hair on. Oh, oh he had his hair on backwards. <laughs> there we go. There's little something about Mary hair in the front. Snap it on. Why won't you stay on? Yeah, okay, it's on. See. Gonna hang on to your little suitcase there, buddy.
Get your wands, you can do your spells in the city that you're not supposed to do, right? Isn't that what happened in the movie? I really need to watch these movies again. He is so cool. I think he's my favorite character, not from the movies, but from these Legos. Here we go, here's all the Legos we just opened. Another quick view. Okay, so I'm off work right now and headed back to Target to satisfy my uh, need for more Legos. Here we go. So I went to Target that night, got a bunch of Legos, ripped them open, and I did get some characters that I didn't have yet. But there's still two more that I need. Let me show you. I still need Ron and this little lady here, the hot dog. And I cannot seem to get them. And I spent so much money on Legos. And I just keep getting repeats of the ones I already have. But, excuse me, I've just been eating a bunch of little chocolate eggs. Easter candy's out already. I should probably not eat that. Well, while talking to you guys, get all the chocolate in my teeth. Okay, so the bad news for me is I keep getting repeats, but the good news for you guys is I'm going to give some away. Um, I'm definitely going to keep the main set that I have, but some of the, the other ones I'm going to give away. And if you'd like to win, I'm going to put the rules in that like description box below. Um, it'll probably be about like a a few weeks long contest where you'll have to email in and say that you want to win kind of thing. There are, here's my collection starting with the ones from the new movie, then moving into the original movies. So some of them I have quite a few of and some I only got one of. Got a lot of Dobbies because I kept feeling for large pieces and his head was large. And here are the ones you can win. So Draco, Peter, or not Peter, <laughs> Harry Potter, um, the guy with the mandrake, Dobby. Let's see who else am I willing to part with? I can part with one of her. I've got three of her. So now I'll only have two and my favorite one of my favorite characters there with lots of cute accessories. And uh, let's do one more. There we go, the main bad guy and his snake. So these are the seven that you can win that are up for winning a boldness. So follow the directions that are in the description box. Well, thanks for watching everyone. I hope this video was somewhat entertaining. Please remember to get your submissions in um, so you can get some of these cute little figurines and not have to open up 50 of them like I did. And I'm still searching for those two more. <sighs> well, thanks for watching everyone. Um, have a great night.